family? What's going on, everybody here in the LDBC? Uh, it's your boy Quest X. I am actually coming to you from a hospital bed. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Brother ended up uh, screwing up my back, shoveling the fucking snow and ice over here in the East Coast. We had like a little so called blizzard, but you know, got through it. Uh, so I'm healing up, resting up. But um, the day has arrived. Gennady Golovkin versus uh, Danny Jacobs, the Miracle Man. Um, again, I've always been on my channel. I've always said that consistency is the key. And I'm going to be consistent here in my prediction. I believe that Danny Jacobs will defeat Gennady Golovkin. Uh, some people will sit here and say that I'm crazy. I don't really care. I've always been the kind of guy who went the alternative route or the guy who um, wasn't willing wasn't afraid, let me put it that way, to go against the grain. So, you know, this is just my track record here on my channel. If you subscribe to me, that means you either A, understand me, or B, you think like me in some way, shape, or form. Uh, I believe that Danny Jacobs is going to shock the world tonight. And I also think that uh, tonight, the middleweight division is going to change. The landscape of it is going to change. And this fight will dictate a lot of what Canelo's next moves will be if he's able to get past Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Uh, I, I got my thoughts on that fight as well. Uh, 2017 is shaping up to be the year where everything kind of gets cleared up. We already had one. And in one instance, we had that with the Danny Garcia versus Keith Thurman. We got somebody who was a poser holding the belt for hostage as long as he did. We got that out of the way. And then we're going to have this fight tonight. Then we're going to have Kell Brook versus Earl Spence. That's going to get cleared up. Honest to God, this, this is the year for boxing. If, you, if you're not a boxing fan, I don't, if, that, if this doesn't get your blood pumping this year, 2017, the fights that are slated for this year, I don't know what, what else to tell you. Um, I've already broken down why I believe that Danny Jacobs will, will defeat Triple G. Uh, I've... Of the mindset that Triple G was indeed exposed by Kell Brook, a 147-pounder who was blown up. Um, rhythm, timing, and just natural power is what's going to be, be able to defeat Triple G. Danny Jacobs has all three. And when you take in consideration um, the lack of competition that Gennady Golovkin has been fighting... The closest he ever came to anybody with a threat was David Lemieux, and he came out not in quote-unquote Mexican style. He came out fighting like a boxer behind his jab. I believe that the jab is not going to be enough tonight. I believe that Danny Jacobs is going to muscle Triple G, and he is going to come out and establish who is the king of the middleweight division. But my question is, and most important to the Gennady Golovkin faithful, if Danny Jacobs goes in there and puts a molly whop whipping on Triple G, will you give him his respect? Will you give him his due? Again, Pauline Monology has said it. The man has no head movement. If you think that the Kell Brook punches that affected him, if you think that Danny Jacobs' punches won't affect him, I don't know what else to tell you. Likewise, you know what? Triple G could end up going in there and catching Danny Jacobs with something. But see, I've been on the mindset saying that this is going to be, this fight's going to come down to who wants it more. See, it's not going to be necessarily about skill or will. This is going to be about who wants it more. Well, I guess will can kind of go hand in hand with who wants it more, right? So maybe it is a fight against skill versus will. We'll find out tonight. So... Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. You guys know where I stand, Quest X. I predict Danny Jacobs for the W. He will make us proud. Uh, he is going to represent Brooklyn. He is going to be the guy that's victorious. You don't go through the hell that Danny Jacobs has gone through uh, to see yourself on the other side coming up just short. And as, you know, as much as I want to sit here and say that a lot of what made me lean towards Danny Jacobs was purely boxing, I'd be lying. Because a percentage of it comes down to the fake phony fans who was running around here crapping on everybody else, talking about how Triple G is this, he's that. 
when 99.9% of you, and yes, I can confidently say this, 99.9% of you were not fans of Triple G before HBO started hyping him. There's only one brother that I know that's been here in the LDBC and on YouTube who was pumping out Triple G videos before he was the killer that you guys start talking about. And that was 78 Sports TV. So, cut that shit out. It's your boy Quest X. I'm out. Peace.